Hey guys, welcome to the New Deal, New Minute, October 13th, 2020. Uh, first things first, new episode of the podcast came out earlier today. I'll post some links to it below, but you can find it on your favorite podcast app. Uh, and soon I'll get them up on YouTube as well. But for now, any podcast app that you've got, you can find the New Deal on. Covered uh, COVID, the Supreme Court, and did some election uh, forecasting, looking at some of the polls uh, that have been out and uh, mainly looking at 538 and then some of the differences between polls in 2016 and 2020. But that's enough of that. Please just go check out the new episode. It's funny how I can record a podcast episode yesterday and then there's so much more to talk about today. Uh, first thing, we have dueling town halls tonight between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. The second debate was canceled. After Donald Trump contracted COVID, they wanted the second debate to be virtual. Trump said no. And so Joe Biden scheduled a town hall. And in pure Donald Trump fashion, he also needed a town hall. So same day, same time, different network. They're both on at 8 o'clock Eastern tonight. I don't know who I want to watch more. Do I want to watch the guy that I know I support and I know I'm going to vote for? Do I want to uh, be a masochist and kind of watch the guy that poses you know, the imminent danger to my well-being and, and, and the countries as well and see what new terrible things he might say tonight. Um, I, I I wish there was a second debate, uh, but, but here we are. So don't know who to watch, don't know what to expect. And uh, strangely, Donald Trump got picked up by NBC. NBC took a lot of heat, but then Trump is bashing NBC, but saying it's a free TV hour. So it's just a little bit crazy. This whole year... Has been crazy, but dueling town halls tonight, Biden, ABC, Trump, NBC. There we have it. I touched on in the podcast episode rising COVID cases. And at first I thought, OK, well, you know, it's a, you know, we're going into the fall. We're going into flu season. But every day it's getting worse, not just the numbers, but the Trump administration's response. They're now pushing herd immunity as response. Dr. Anthony Fauci came out today and very pointedly said, that strategy is ridiculous. And you don't usually hear him speaking in such clear terms. Uh, the chief of the World Health Organization said that herd immunity, the way that the Trump administration is trying to use it, is dangerous and unethical. And as this is happening, cases are going up around the country. I just heard that Wisconsin has a positivity rate over 20%. Hospitals are beginning to reach capacity for ICU around the country in different states. And as that's going on, I, you know, got, get to watch a little bit of the governor of Rhode Island, Gina Raimondo, speak today. Um, and it was live on Facebook and I was just kind of watching the comments. And it's unbelievable to me how few people get COVID restrictions. People are saying, open things up. Uh, you know, she said, you know, maybe, you know, don't have ha don't have Halloween parties, but kids, you know, should be able to go trick or treating, but maybe try to get them during the day. People are like, oh, but I'm working. Well, Halloween's on a Saturday, you know, and she's trying to widen the area that kids are trick or treating the time frame so that you don't have clusters of kids all out at, you know, seven o'clock. It, it makes sense. But, you know, it, it's it's crazy that these people want things to open up, open up, open up. They, they're saying, oh, well, why do I need to go to work? But we're sending kids to school. And no one seems to, well, not no one, but many people don't seem to understand the balance. People need to go to work. In order to do so, they need child care. Child care is largely unavailable. So we send the kids back to school or at least give the option so that parents can also go to work. It's not a perfect ideal situation. The ideal situation, honestly, is to shut everything down until this thing goes away. That would be the ideal. Shut it down, limit the spread so that no one spreads it to anybody else for two to three weeks, and then we can all rise up from our holes and COVID will be gone because no one spread it. And that's how, that's one way to flatten the curve or kill the virus. But we can't do that. So we're, we have to strike compromises everywhere. So if you want to work, your kid needs care. If your kid needs care, okay, we'll let them back in school. It's not a contradicting idea. Those ideas are not contrary to one another. It's trying to make the best of a bad situation. Um, meanwhile, a study came out and people who contract COVID are two and a half more times likely to have eaten in a restaurant or gone to a bar. And so, so people are getting tired of the COVID restrictions at the worst time. 
And we're coming up, like I say in the podcast, on Thanksgiving, Christmas, and the holidays. And, uh, you know, people are, are already, you know, flipping out. Oh, well, you know, we, you know, you can't tell us that we can't have parties and things like that. And it's like, there is a question of public health here. And I feel terribly for the families that will inevitably lose relatives and loved ones because they chose to have a medium to large gathering on Thanksgiving or on Christmas or on New Year's. God forbid you have a gathering of 20, 25 people and someone you know in your family contracts COVID and they're passing away around Christmas. All preventable. Nobody wants to go through that. And yet there's this ignorance, this negligence, this carelessness um, that seems to be running rampant through so many people. And I can't tell if they think it's a joke or if they really just don't care about whether or not other human lives are lost or if this virus hasn't touched them or their family in any meaningful way so far. Um, but, you know, we haven't been through a flu season with this thing. And it's beginning to spread more quickly now. And this was predicted in April. And we saw it coming and we could have done something about it and we didn't. So not to be too bleak and not to do, you know, focus too much on COVID because people are sick of COVID. I get it. But this is another turning point. This is, you know, wave two and a half or wave three or wave one continued, depending on how you want to look at it. But it's it's not being taken seriously enough by everybody. And it's great that at least up here in Rhode Island, you see most people wearing masks. But it was very clear in the comments that I was seeing that people are doing so begrudgingly and they don't see a reason for it and they don't understand why. And I, I have a lot of trouble relating to people with that mindset because if the choice is human lives being lost or literally anything else, um, you, you, you save lives, right? That's, that's the, the answer every time, isn't it? Um, this is temporary and the hardship is temporary. And, you know, there will be a recovery. This is a year. This is a year and a half and, and time goes by and then it's in the past and, and we'll get through it. Um, but I just wish that we had a little bit more commitment and a little bit more um, understanding from those people who are really critical of these restrictions. So I hope it doesn't get bad um, or get much worse. Um, but right now it is. So everyone be careful. Um, everyone be safe. Everyone start thinking now about your holiday plans because we need to be prepared for minimalistic holidays, maybe just with your spouse or with your 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 kids and and you know calling everyone else and finding a great way to do it on Zoom or Skype. Um, but we need to be mentally prepared for that. And if we're doing that now, we'll be okay. But uh, that's where I'm going to land on that. So that's the new minute for today. Um, again, two town halls uh, to watch tonight, depending on whether or not you want to or if you care. And uh, also new episode of the New Deal podcast. Uh, please check out one of the links below or go to thenewdeal.com. You can find it there. Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, uh, it, all there. So uh, please listen. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to comment on Facebook or on Instagram with any questions. And I can see if I can answer those on the new minute um, or on the next episode of the podcast. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Uh, hopefully it's a fun experience watching those town halls and uh, have a happy Friday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.